Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Miera Jennings and in this DIY video, I'm going to show you how I turned this into this. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so I am starting off with these basic Fruit of the Loom men's sweatshirts and sweatpants. And I got men's size small because for some reason the men's sizes are a lot cheaper than the women's sizes. In addition, I'm using my sewing machine, fabric scissors, the ruler, pencils, sewing pins, elastic cord, and an elastic fastener button. As usual, just scroll on down to that description box for more details on these materials. All right, let's get started. First, I am layering one pair of the pants on top of the other and then folding them in half vertically, making sure everything is lined up. Then I'm using my ruler and pencil to mark the line where I want to cut. Now I decided to cut at an angle, make it a little more dynamic, but you guys can do whatever you wanna do. Now that that's cut, I'm unfolding the pants, flipping all of the pieces inside out, and assembling the colors together. Now I decided to go darker at the top and lighter at the bottom of the legs. But feel free to mix and match however you want. You can even use three colors if you want. Next, I'm grabbing my sewing pins and it's time to pin the pieces together. Now what I'm doing is starting with the top layer and pinning the right sides together. Be careful not to pin the bottom layer to this because then once you sew, you won't be able to get your legs through. By the way, this project is cool because you actually get two outfits. Okay, once the front is pinned, I'm flipping them over and doing the same thing to the other side. And now that everything is pinned, we are ready to head to the sewing machine. First, I am making sure that these layers are not stuck together because again, we do not want to sew these pant legs closed. And now I'm just sewing along all of the pinned edges, removing the pins as I go. That's it. The pant legs are sewn, flipping them back to the right side, and the pants are done. Looking good. All right, now let's finish off with the sweatshirt. Again, I am layering the sweatshirts on top of one another. <laughs> Hi, Banks. All right, and once I have those layered, I'm folding it in half vertically, making sure everything is lined up, and then using my pencil and ruler again to mark an angled line on the sleeve. I'm using my fabric scissors to cut along that line, unfolding everything, and assembling the pieces. I really wanted this to be a crop top, but you guys can leave it full length if you want, whatever your preference is. Once I've cropped the bottom, I'm flipping everything inside out and it's time to pin the pieces together. Just like with the pants, I'm pinning the right sides of the top layers together, being very careful not to pin the entire sleeve together. Once the front is pinned, I'm flipping it over and pinning the back of the sleeves. And once those are pinned, it's time to create the casing along the bottom for the elastic. To do this, I'm just folding that bottom edge over about an inch and pinning it in place. And that's it. Now let's head to the sewing machine. First, I'm sewing along that cropped bottom. And once that's done, I'm knocking out the sleeves. And we are good to go. I'm flipping everything to the right side and cutting a very small hole at the bottom, just in the top layer. Then I've added a safety pin to the end of the elastic cord, which I've already measured to fit around my waist, and slipping that safety pin all the way around the casing, scrunching the material as I go. Once I've worked that elastic cord all the way through, I'm going to fasten it using the little elastic fastener button. Slipping both ends through, securing it with a knot, and that's it. The cropped sweatshirt is complete. The entire set is looking amazing. I am so excited to try this on. Let's go. And 
and that's it. Just a few simple changes made a world of a difference. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you comment below to let me know what you think about this outfit and let me know what you want to see me make next. If you're not already one of my amazing subscribers, I love you guys. Hit that subscribe button right now and that notifications bell so you never miss one of my videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.